your character. To identify what's my bad habit. Sit and pause for a moment. What is my bad habit? Maybe my bad habit is I lie a lot, I talk a lot, I gossip a lot, I use WhatsApp a lot, I put too many pictures online a lot and whatever else. These are bad habits. You might think they're light. Wallahi, it's a bad habit. Work on it. Work on it, inshallah. So you want to become a person of better character? Admit your bad habits. Sit and think hard, hard. Be tough on yourself, but be lenient with others. Be tough on yourself, but be lenient with others. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. So I was saying, if you were asked your spouse, you know, tell us about the character of your spouse. Wallahi, we would hear ajabul ujab. You know, the most strange things. This man snores all night. It's not, may Allah forgive us. Okay, let's not go to that extent. But at the same time, if you do snore, there is a way out of it. You just tilt yourself, follow the sunnah of sleeping on your right side. And inshallah, nine times out of 10, your snoring will go. It will go. Try it out. And don't send me an email saying we tried it. It's still not working. <laughs> so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. My brothers and sisters, think for yourself. If your spouse was asked about your character, what answer would they give? I tell you why. Because your spouse knows you better than everyone and anyone else. This guy's on his phone up to two o'clock in the morning and he's, he doesn't get up for Salat al Fajr as a result of that. And when I look at him, he's just on his phone. That's one thing. The men must be saying, no, talk about her. She's also on her phone till two. And she will tell you, well, that's because he's on his phone till two. And the argument continues. The idea is put your phone away. This is a bedroom. Put it on the side. If you want, you sit on a chair, be on your phone. And I've tried this myself. Sit on a chair, be on your phone for a few minutes. Put it aside. When you get into your bedding, it's you. And if you're married, Alhamdulillah, your spouse, not your phone. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to understand we're not married to our phones, but rather we're married to people, human beings who need us to communicate and talk to them. The reason I say this is part of the topic. Wallahi, it's bad habit. It's bad character. We need to speak about these modern problems that we are facing. These are real issues. People's marriages are breaking because of the mobile phone. You know that. I know it too. People's marriages are breaking because of the type of gossip that is going on online. I know of a whole group of people who are divorced and their job is to go online and to speak bad about their ex. For what? Why? How come? How will it help you? No, I get closure. What closure? It's more of an opener. It opens the shaitan's door. Subhanallah. You want closure, turn to Allah. He's the owner of that door. He will close it for you thoroughly and properly. Mashallah. He'll give you something better than you had. But if you continue mud slinging someone whom you've been intimate with and you've had children with perhaps mud slinging to the degree that they are derogatory comments are being passed. True or not? We're not worried. You're wasting your time. You're engaging in backbiting, fadiha. You want to expose people whom you had in your nikah with the name of Allah. Why do you want to do that? You will not achieve anything besides becoming more and more depressed. May Allah forgive us. Remember whatever I've said, the verses I read before you state that whoever repents to Allah, Allah will forgive them. I haven't seen one verse or one hadith where it says whoever asks Allah's forgiveness, Allah will not forgive them. Have you ever come across that? If you ask Allah's forgiveness, Allah will not forgive you. Did you ever see that? Ever? Any hadith? Even a weak one? Even a fabricated one? No. It's not there. You ask Allah's forgiveness, He will forgive you because Islam is based on mercy. So improve your character. Seek the forgiveness of Allah. If anything we are mentioning today is found in my life or your lives, the way forward is to seek forgiveness. The way forward is not to lose hope. Oh... What did I do? That's it. I'm going to hell. Now it's over. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to take you to heaven by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.